What is up, YouTube? What is up, Giants fans? It is your boy, Jay Dimes. We're back at it with another New York Giants video. Back at it with another New York Giants banger. But before we get to this one, if you're not done so yet, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure that subscribe button and join the channel if you love Giants football. Now, let's get right into this one. So the Giants just finished up um, day two of mandatory minicamp. And I would say the big story for uh, day two of minicamp is that the offense basically bounced back after yesterday's uh, practice, basically yesterday, um, it seemed like Wink Martindale had the defense uh, looking good out there versus the offense. And one thing that Brian Dewey had said that um, when we're talking about uh, a specific side of the ball having a better day than the other side is, yeah, it's good to see one side of the ball have a great day. But when you look at it that way, that means that the other side of the football isn't doing well. So is it really that big of a thing if one other side of the ball is doing better than the other and I think that's one thing we have to take into account this year if the offense is looking good but the defense is looking amazing we probably should be looking more at the offense struggling than the defense shining in my opinion but um either way today the Giants offense looked pretty good I think Tom Rock tweeted out saying that uh the offense looked that he came back with something to prove in 11 on 11 so when I hear that I'm excited man uh, I'm seeing Saquon Barkley get uh put in those uh, pre-snap motion, you get in him in the wide receiver type room, and that's um, something that Saquon Barkley said he hasn't had that type of motion since his, I want to say, college years. So if we're seeing that, I feel like Saquon Barkley's in for a big year, um, not just running the ball, but also catching the ball. We can't forget that he caught for 91 catches and almost uh, 750 some yards in his rookie season, which what made him so dynamic as a rookie. So. I'm very excited to see how they're going to use Saquon Barkley, not just in a running back role, but also as a wide receiver while out the backfield. I think that adds a different element to the offense. When you're talking about Wanda Robinson, Kadarius Tony, Saquon Barkley out there, it's going to be good. And speaking of Wanda Robinson, um, he looked good. He looked quick in one uh, little video I've seen uh, posted from Giants videos on Twitter. Make sure you go follow them. Make sure you go follow a lot of these Giant Twitter um, reporters, man. They keep you reported, keep you updated uh, during the uh, practices and the um, activities that be going on at the uh, Giants camp. So I seen also seen Kenny Galladay. Also seen Kenny Galladay. He looked good. You know, so he looked quick coming out of his break, and um, I'm excited for him. Uh, he's still in the red jersey. A lot of the Giants wide receivers are still in red jersey, non-contact uh, jerseys, but. You know, just get healthy. Just, just get healthy. And um, it was another thing that uh, Daniel Jones uh, hit Stephon Barkley with a little underhand pass. I think it was a little underhand flip pass, kind of resembling that Andy Reid type offense from Mike Kafka. There, I love it. I love it, man. Um, when we're looking at this Giants offense with Brian Dable and Mike Kafka as the uh, guys looking over. It's this. I want to say the sky's the limit when we're talking about how we can use all these guys. And that's one thing that Saquon Broccoli said also, that uh, they're going to make sure that they use their playmakers in different type of ways. And, you know, you got Kadarius Tony, you got Wandale Robinson, you got Saquon. Hell, you even got Matt Breida who possesses a lot of good speed in the backfield. It, I'm excited. I know I said that a lot of times in this video. I'm very excited when we're talking about how they're going to be able to use these guys. They have a lot of talent. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. The Giants have talented playmakers. They do. They've just been underutilized over the past couple of years with uh, Joe, Joe, Joe Judge and Jason Garrett. That's that's the main thing. And um, I think this year, uh, we actually have put our playmakers, Darius Slayton also, in a position to succeed um, when we're going to be using them in a different variety of ways. So that I am very proud to see. Uh, Julian Love also came out and said, uh, this is after practice, um, that with Wink Martindale's defense is that he's gonna have you playing everywhere. And it's true. I, I, I can't wait to see how he's gonna use Xavier McKinney, how rangy he is as our uh, starting full safety. I'm excited for him this year. Um, we're looking at the pass rushers that the Giants have possessed over the offseason. You got Azizel Jalari, you got Kayvon Thibodeau. I'm excited how he's gonna use those guys over that defensive line. Um, they went and, they went and drafted some guys. Dane Belton, I'm excited for him. You got even Darian Beavers, who was a pretty decent um, draft pick late in the draft. You know what I'm saying? Very underrated draft pick there. So, Julian Love saying that. Uh, I'm, again, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Um, another thing, at the end of practice, uh, the Giants added some crowd noise to Graham Gano's final kick. You know what I'm saying? Just to add in that little extra element, man. You know what I'm saying? Because what if we won? 
You know what I'm saying? We're down 29-27, and Daniel Jones has let the Giants into field goal range, and we're in Tennessee. We know we get loud in Tennessee, and we need Graham Gunner to go out there and kick a field goal. That crowd is going to be rocking. It's going to be pumping, trying to get us off our kilter. So I love that. I love that. You know what I'm saying? It's a small thing. I told you guys, it's a small thing. So um, he also did make the kick also. It's Graham Gunner. It's Graham Gunner. Graham Gunner. He has that leg, you know what I'm saying? He has that rocket leg. Uh, so I, um, I just love that right there. A little extra element. But the big story from Giants minicamp day two is that basically the offense, man. The offense came back to play today. I love it. They came out to play. So um, they responded at the Wink Martin deal. Basically, you know, put on a little defensive master class in practice yesterday. So um, the Giants offense bounced back. They shine out in day two. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing some different Saquon Barkley looks, how he's looking um, as a wide receiver, how they got him, you know what I'm saying? Not just running the ball, but seeing what he can do catching the ball. So that's a different element bringing to the offense this year, something that we haven't seen Saquon Barkley get used in that type of way since he was a rookie, since he was a freaking rookie. And um, I just can't wait to see how they use him. I can't wait to see how he looks um, in that type of role. But uh, that's gonna do it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button. And um, until then, it's me, boys, you're done, I am out. Go Giants.